the most degenerate, depraved microcap coins out there today. So nothing we say is financial advice. Even if it sounds like it, please don't think it is. We're just going to go through charts and look at them. And as we do this, we're going to find a lot of things I have a feeling that you guys want to look at that doesn't have a lot of history. It's going to be harder to chart those. The more history we have, the more data we have to work with. So this has only been around five days. It's not going to have a lot for us to look at, but we'll give it our best shot. We're going to try to give moon targets, try to give doom targets. And really, it's just Friday, boys. What I need from you today, I need you to hit that like button. I need you to go over then hit the share button, then go even farther over and hit the subscribe button, join our fam, jump in our Discord for free, discord.gg slash Tom Crown. You won't regret it. It's worth every penny because it's free. Get it? It's worth every penny. And uh, while I dick around trying to find this chart, because it's going to be hard, there's going to be hard tickers today. Uh, also, go in the video description below and sign up with our sponsors, our partners down in there and get free VIP access in the Discord. You don't want to sleep on it. Also, Lux Algo, our sponsor, shout out to them. I do want to say I've learned recently that the that uh, actually you can get a 30-day free trial of Lux Algo. Check them out. It's definitely worth a free trial. I think it's a month. Uh, TomCrown.io slash Lux Algo. Get 30% off any order if you decide to make one. All right, we're, we're going to try to look at this Chuck thing. Chuck. It's a meme coin on base. Uh... We might not be. If we we can't find a chart. We can't look at it. That that's going to be a a given today. I don't think any of these are it. You said it's on base yet. We only see Uniswap, Honeyswap, Pancake Swap. Is this right? Am I looking for it correctly? Let me uh, see if Coin Gecko can find it for us. Chuck on F. All right. Chuck on Soul. Is this it? Chuck Coinbase. Is this Coinbase? Gecko Terminal versus Crow. I don't know if we can find it, man. It's the Uniswap? All right. All right. Good eye. Good eye. Give this a shot, maybe. Wow. You were not joking. Well, this episode is going to be a, a treat for the chart. It's going to be an absolute treat. Uh, Wrapped Ether? Bruh. Bruh. There's like not even candles for it. One, two, three, four. I think this is the one you're talking about. Yeah, this is a. This is not going to be a chart we're really going to be able to do much with. This is at zero. Did this rug? Did it rug before before we pulled it up? Is that what happened? Is this it? Because this is it. Like, no offense. I, there's nothing we can do with this. It's at zero. Down at zero after three days of trading. With coin. Queen gecko. Weth coin. Yeah, it's just like Chuck and Chuck. This is it. Is this the one? Is this it? This could be it. This looks a little bit better. All right, at least it's not zero. <clears throat> it won't be the first nor the last coin we look at that will probably go to zero, but that is the danger of DGen coin hunting. This is it. Told you to chuck your money in the garbage. Also, feel free to talk crap on any of these guys. You know I want to. I'm going to try to stay a little bit unbiased because uh, I don't want to get too negative. I'll say this. There's not a lot of data, but we do see against Ethereum 0014, we can call it like 0015, current resistance at our high. We have some kind of support just below price at 000048. And I would kind of expect this to just range in between there provided... I should, I'm not going to say this for every coin, but everything is provided there isn't just some, you know, shenanigans or rug or whatever, change the supply, change the contract, etc. cetera. Um, highest traded point, 00184. This is not the best look. I can say this though. This is the wrong one. It's always the wrong one. Deck screener. All right. I'm sorry. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? If it's not on trading view, I can't look at it. I'm sorry. It's too much. I realize this. If it, it if it's not on trading view, then 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 I'm sorry. Can't do anything with it. I'm not gonna open up other sites or you know, like figure it out. Not while I'm live, brother. It's not worth it. I do appreciate the super chat. I do. 
What else can we look at then? Let's see these trending ones on Queen Gecko. Moon Tropica. What is Moon Tropica? Gala. Catcoin. Game GPT. R Trade. Planet Token. What are we looking at? What do you guys want to see? What is the what is the coin that you want to see? Any news on fetch merge? Not that I'm aware of. Can we look at Circus? The web page is cool. Can we look at R Q Rito? GPU node. What's up, Dealy? How you doing, brother? How you doing? It's a chillin' Friday. We're looking at the micro cap micro crap. Micro cap coins. That we usually don't. So I want to hear some weird requests. What are like I don't know, what are the popular ones right now? I'm so out of it. I feel like a boomer. I feel like an old boomy. Litecoin, says Obe. Yeah. Litecoin. Not exactly the micro crap, but uh pull it up for you. Catcoin. Alright, we'll look at Catcoin. Not a lot's going on. I figured we'd do something different today because Bitcoin not doing anything. Bitcoin really kind of taking its time here. I think the big uh, like zoomed out pattern we're looking at is this. We have higher lows and lower highs. We're painting some kind of flag. Could be a bull flag. The end of this bull flag or when the two trend lines converge almost exactly at the halving. So I honestly would expect whenever the halving is to see this breakout. Uh, we already have seen potentially like, I guess a, that's not a fake break yet. Actually a very well behaved, very well behaved flag here. We could see it move on all the way out, but I will remind you, you almost never see these things complete. You'd never see them kind of get to the very end and then like decide to break out. You usually get a realistic fake break. So we'll say like this, if it's going to go up, we look for a fake break to the downside and then a move up. This is what we see all the time. If it's going to move down from this flag, we typically would see a fake break up and then a move. Basically engineering liquidity on either side and price action ends up kind of looking like a check mark. You get like the fake break down and the move up. Fake break up and a move down. And until then, we're just ranging. Traders likely can do some kind of chop trading. It's not my game, not my style, but... Chop trading, basically looking at like 70.3 between, I don't know, 66 or 65.5. Going short, going long until this just eventually resolves. That's the only way I think you could trade this right now. And why we don't have too much to really go into. We can look at analysis for Bitcoin. We can look at indicators, but I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to for this. Um, as long as price is within these trends. It's just doing what it's been doing. You can feel it. This is actually getting me bullish. You can feel it. Back in, I'll say early March, we had some of the biggest growth in our channel, some of the highest view numbers, some of the highest new viewer numbers. That's all calmed down. It's all relaxed. It's all simmered, right? But price hasn't moved, and that is kind of the alpha here. Sentiment is diverging from price. Sentiment diverging from price sentiment divergence sentiment kind of trending down here hitting i'll say local lows but price is not and that is a bullish setup at least that's what we've seen almost every kind of move up here we've seen a cooling off period where it's like ah maybe it's not happening maybe we're going back down and it doesn't so i'm bullish but until this resolves there's really nothing to do on bitcoin really like i mean maybe look at the week what's that look like what's the week look like nothing Eh, week looks actually it looks pretty pretty gnarly uh we do have two days it is friday we're heading into the weekend uh we did test the open fair value gap 67 250 this week it would be great to see a close above that obviously a close above 71,000. gonna set it up really really bullishly if we can see this flip green we can close the weekly as a hammer candle but something tells me we're not we're not gonna do that this week i think we do close above 67.2 but I don't think we close above 61.4. I would love to see it happen. I'm just not sold, at least from what I'm seeing at the moment. We're gonna look at the month really fast here. Just, it's not gonna really do anything. Yeah, there you go. Little red candle, little little red uh, teardrop running down the cheek. That's it, nothing else. That's it. Litecoin hasn't moved, I love you, Obe. Litecoin being strong, but uh, not really, not really moving again. Litecoin is the silent hunter, man. Got a little hyped, broke above 110, 
Now we're just chilling. Um, I'm not worried at all. Litecoin has been such a good trade, honestly, since 22. It was very difficult to take a long near just range lows and, and get stopped out. We have seen pretty much just higher lows. We haven't really seen higher highs. That'd be nice. So we're waiting for, but we've just seen higher lows. I've opened multiple longs on Litecoin in this time, and they've all stayed open. Uh, they're all still open. I'm waiting for that big move back to all time high, or at least into like the 150 range. Man, I watch Litecoin every every day. I open up this chart and I whisper to myself, "It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay." You know what? It is gonna be okay, especially for Nico Joeo Felipe Dornelis, Matija. Pack O'Reilly, who else? Don George, Anvar Sadith, all these chads subscribing during the live. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I guess the uh, Litecoin is kind of my DGen coin, isn't it? That must be how it looks, at least, everybody. Let me see. I'm going to throw the Discord link into the chat. Make sure you join it if you're just stumbling upon our channel. Good. Let's roll. Litecoin used to be a leading indicator of Bitcoin. That is, that is true. That is true. It does not seem to be true anymore, though. For a long time when I started trading, anytime Litecoin would break a high, it was like an immediate signal that Bitcoin was about to pump. That's probably some of our connection to Litecoin out there. Us people who uh, still Litecoin in. Probably the connection. It was kind of like an important part of the ecosystem back in the day. Maybe not as much now. Man. We are, we are climbing on the viewership. We're hitting, I don't know, the first, it's really only been live five minutes. Nah, longer than that. YouTube's lying to me. We only have 100 likes, 300 viewers. Guess you guys don't want to see DGen coins. <laughs> we'll see. There's a lot going on in the world right now. Uh, apparently, I slept through an earthquake this morning. We have the eclipse on the 8th. People are afraid of that for some reason. Whatever. Just don't stare at it. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just don't stare at it. If you stare at it, Something to be afraid of. There's a lot going on. It is Friday. I know weather is kind of hit or miss around the world right now, but uh, it's warming up. People are doing other things, but I appreciate every single one of you that are here today to join us for this new segment. See how it goes. If you could, though, please hype up the stream. If you're here lurking, just put a hello in the chat, engage a little bit, and let's see if we can get those numbers up. We're going to see if we can, can pull them up by their bootstraps. I think we can do it. I believe in you. Hello, hype. LMWR, GM enough. DGen enough. I don't know, man, is it? I'm just going to pull up. I'm just going to label this DGen, and I'm just going to keep the chart. We're going to keep one chart moving. I'll try to type in tickers, but we'll see. What's up, brothers? What's up? Crow with knife. What is that, Ethan? Blue chip on base. Biggest gamble. LMW, what is it? LMWR. Ooh, it's on cracking. If it's on cracking, all right. We don't have a big chart, though. That's okay. It's okay. Is this DGen enough? I have no idea, guys. And by the way, when we pull these up, none of it is an endorsement of any of these. We're just looking at it. Even if I have bullish things to say, it's not an endorsement. Uh, who has the longest history? Looks like Kraken has a pretty big history. I'm just going to assume this is it. Does look like it traded almost to zero back in June of 23, down to uh, one and a half cents from 57. Yikes. Yikes. Let's see how this has played out for it. I like this pattern. Broke out, didn't back test the previous high, kept moving. Let's use our fib tool. I'm not going to use this low because it's just too outlier. We'll see where it, it like points to, but it's just too outlier. Usually when I see like one singular kind of exaggerated wick, I, I like to just not count it. You typically don't see it across exchanges either. Uh, doo -doo. On Kraken. Actually, these are some good extensions. So whatever this is, LMWR is at an all-time high. It's trading at $1.40. I would like to see a back test of 57 cents. This would be the clean entry if it comes. Using our FIB extension, our two measured move, we do get a nice profit taking target of $2.32. If you were in a position or if I were in a position, probably look to lock in some of those gains at that point. 
it would have been difficult to buy this coin and not be in profit at the moment unless you bought it uh, yesterday or day before. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see here. Let me see, guys. Money flow looks good. RSI. There's some trouble here. You have yet to eclipse. Relevant. Uh, November's RSI high on the day, even though you are at a higher price. So that is bearish divergence on the day. Undeniable. Looking at the week, though, this is one of the craziest star size I've ever seen. We're going to see a lot of this today, I have a feeling. RSI in overbought. For those of you who have been listening to the bears, slap yourself. But then after you've recovered from that slap, pay attention. I heard a lot of people say, oh, RSI is overbought on XYZ, whatever time frame isn't that bearish. Overbought is bullish. Think about it. Think about just the word. It's overbought. The word over, I think people get tripped up on. But think of like the core of that. It's saying people are buying it. It is going up, right? Maybe we can kind of adjust our perspectives here. Look at this weekly RSI. Holy F. Uh, weekly just ripping in the overbought status. Not giving up. The bearish divergence we saw in the day, not here on the week. And I think that's provided we have a solid close into Sunday this does look like it has more upside in it. 232, very reasonable. Very reasonable. Maybe $2 flat for those of you who uh, are a little skittish. I'm going to do one more fib. I'm going to pull it from the crazy wick and we'll just see where that lands us. Actually, that looks nice here. Crazy wick gives us $5. There you go. There's your moon target. There's your moons, baby. Let's see. A retracement. I like that. Um from that crazy wick to the current all-time high we get our 236 sits at 57 cents right where i was saying i'd feel more comfortable here in a position i'm not gonna take probably any of these today we'll see though i do, i reserve the right to we'll find out you can get a nice what 13 10 to 1 something like that i'll place an alert on this i don't know what it is and we're gonna move on to the next one what's up alexandra there you are i said you're never in our streams where is she? Alexandra G. You know what, Alexandra? We're giving out wrenches today. Have a wrench. You're a good, you're a good lad. I appreciate you. All right. GPU node. All right, what's next? What do we look at next? Here's our, our first shitter. Smash the like, everybody. That's right, Crypto Wanderer. What's up, Alexo? You know what, Alexo? I'm going to make sure this is your the real one. It is the real one, guys. Alexo, great dude. Market cipher trader. Good guy. Chug him out. Check him out. I'm subscribed. Why aren't you? Let's get this man to like 3,000. Let's get him up there. Let me give him a wrenchy too so we don't have any impersonators. There we are. Good job. What's up, D. Lee? Lars Larson, it's, you're cold. You've got your solo miner cranking. Good. It's actually kind of warm here, as you can tell by my dress. Can you look at charts? No. No charts. Never a chart. Actually, I lied. I am going to name this after it. Man, my OCD coming in hard. Like, no, nah, can't can't lose this chart for some reason. What's Credo? I don't even know. I've never even heard this. Credo. Man, there are so many tokens. Or is it Q Redo? Q Redo. Now I'll never forget this ticker. Thanks. Permanent permanent real estate in my brain. Hey, this is cool. There's history. It ain't pretty history, but at least there's history. I see a super chat. We'll get into them. My headphones just turned off for no apparent reason. Ah, da -da. There's history. Really, really dangerous history. Nice. I like, I like the fibs, though. The fibs, fibs are slapping here. Let's see. I think I should technically pull from this wick, even though I hate these wicks. No. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. Why, trading view? Why? 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 I don't have that on. Stop it. Man, I could have a whole show just getting trolled by trading view. Yep, I like this better. Pulling the fib. You can see we're just on Q Ridu, whatever. Uh just reaching up to that 236 retracement. This has spent two years trending down. Last month in March, managed to break a higher high, potentially kicking the trend. Not a bad start. You definitely have resistance at 10 cents, likely resistance and profit taking. 
if we get there. Uh, I don't hate what I see here. I'll get into that in just a second. Our 618.5 all the way up here. 50 cents, I like that. 10 to 50. 10 to 50. 273. And the all-time high monthly up here at 764. Cool. Here's what I like about this chart without really looking into it or reading into it too much. On the monthly, the higher high was broken last month. Again, potentially kicking that downtrend. So let's zoom into this. You can see what I'm going to say next if you're a viewer here. I, you know what I'm going to say. You're reading my mind. Back test of previous resistance. Boom. Why do you do this? Uh, it's Friday. Trading views like being lazy today. Here's what happened. You hit a high. You fell. You retested your bear market low. You managed to close a candle up. You've started an uptrend of some kind. This month, you've fallen back down. I see a very juicy entry, and it has not hit yet. It's very close. 6.1 cents, currently at 6.6, .6, about a 10% move to the downside, will bring you back to that previous monthly resistance. If it holds as support, which is the thesis of this trade, is that it will. That's why I look for long. You'd expect a move up. Now, that move could stop at 10 cents, of course, but with the way the market's been moving over the last few months, I think higher targets are potentially on the table. Looking a little bit more, maybe 16 cents from 6 to 16 would be quite a little move there. That would be my leverage play if, I'd, if I played it. Right there for a 5 to 1, risking 33% for 162% gain. Very degenerate. Very degenerate of us. I think a better trade, even just kind of more conservative, is only to that 10 cent mark. And then all you have to do, adjust the stop loss, get yourself like a three to one, four to one. There you go. I might set an alert here because I like this setup. I, the chart itself, zoomed out, does not look good. But that setup could play, even if it's just in and out, little scalp skis. Uh, above 15 cents, you can move to 50 pretty quickly. Uh, these wicks had kind of invalidated this, this previous level from October of 22 around 20. I could see a move to 50 cents if 15 is smoked through randomly. I think we had another super chat. Let me see. We got two super chats. My bad. Alex O, my guy. Appreciate you. How you've always protected the new trader and been a good, honest streamer. Much love. Much love to you, my friend. You're making me blush. All I hope is that you, as you have been doing, continue to do that. Continue to put out good info, not do paid pump and dump shill crap. Uh, keep preaching the good word, brother. Appreciate you, Alex. What's up, WR tipped Robud? Sure, Robud. Robud. By the way, at the end of this live stream, I will put all of the charts that we do in the VIP trading section of the Discord. And you can get free access. All you have to do is sign up with one of our partners below that you're probably going to use anyway. You'll get all these robud. Robud. You're a robud. Friday, robud. Robud, no. Robud, no. Eight year old made the art. Account X community docs. None of that means anything to me, but if it means something to you, awesome. Well, robud is not found in crypto, Mr. WR. What, what is it? Is it like an NFT or something? Robud. Robud robot. Yeah, those emojis are not helping me locate it, unfortunately. Follix Alexo Crypto has great content. That's right, Jack and Craig. Tips. We can look at tips. Uh, while WR figures out if he's a robot or not, I guess I can't look at this one because I can't pull it up. Justin Ward with 999. Popo. Popo. Well, I'm not a huge fan of the Popo myself, but... Went in Rome. Uh, let's see. We got an F pair. We got a USD pair. I'm going to pull up the F pair because I assume it has more history. But we're going to also pull up that USD pair because if it has the same amount of history, I'll use that. April. Back to June. April. June. Yeah, a little bit more on the F pair. I'm going to take the F pair. So here's a little trick. I know. I, I'm tricking you guys into learning. That's what we do here. Here's a little trick, especially for meme coinery or for... Anything that doesn't have good pairs. Did you know that you can make your own pairs? And they are valid. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Popo double F, whatever this is, EAC 15 F. I'm going to multiply this, ready? By the price of Ethereum. Now you're going to ask why Ethereum? 
The reason being is this is an Ethereum pair. That's why. It's very simple. If you thought there was a bigger answer, you're wrong. But uh, so we're going to multiply this by the price of Ethereum. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a chart that is going to give us the dollar value. Spicy, I know. For data we didn't have before. This is going to give us a different view on the chart. I'm actually going to multiply this by... Now, if it's a USD... Uh, yeah, I'm going to multiply this as well. So taking this a step farther, you can see we have how many zeros? I don't know. That's too many for me visually to count. There's going to be trading errors when you have that scenario. When you're not able to quickly process the numbers, you're going to have errors. You're going to miss a zero. You're going to fat finger. You're going to whatever. So I'm going to multiply this. Let's see how many zeros. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine zeros. I'm going to multiply this by 100 million. Is that it? Nope. One too many. What I'm doing here is I'm fitting this data to just be an integer and a decimal. That's going to help us. You can do this with anything. Don't be fooled by the zeros. Something that has a hundred zeros before it has no greater chance of moving, I don't know, to a penny or whatever than anything else. It's all just, it's all just math. It's all decimals. It's all fractions, percents. If you understand this, this will help you be successful. I know I'm tricking you. You tuned in for degeneracy and you're getting tricked into learning. Who is this guy? Who is this person? We hate him. All right. Let's take a look at this chart. So remember, whenever I say a number here, it's going to have however many zeros. At the moment, trading at 435 overhead, looks like almost double top, but macro resistance at 611. That's a pretty big move actually back to that resistance even though it doesn't look like it here. It's about a 50% move. If the all-time high is broken before it's bear market low, down at 63 cents, we can look for our moon math and our measured moves to the upside. That gives us quite a nice little picture here. Very nice for the popo. I'm going to check and make sure you guys aren't screaming at me. That's the wrong chart. That's the wrong chart. You're lost. I'm sorry. Too much. It's too much math for a Friday, for a DGen Friday. The real quick takeaway, if you didn't understand what I just said, is on TradingView, the symbol search acts like a calculator. You can put in an equation and it will chart it for you. And it is valid and it will help you if you learn how to use it. It'll help you visualize price changes. It'll help you see trends. It's just all over something you should understand in crypto. So here we go. Support below you at a dollar. I like that. That is a 75% plus move to the downside if it comes. But a dollar, nice little support down here. Um, battling with the 611, your all time high at 2716. So that is a big move back to the all time high from where price is right now. Let's see this. Even back to just our local resistance, 42%. Back to the all time high, 552%. And to our 1618 extension. 6,500. When we look at these extensions using our FIB tool, it is the only tool that we can realistically use in this scenario. But when we do, a trick that I don't really talk about too much, you're getting the alpha here today, lucky you, uh, is when I look at these extensions, I try to be unbiased and say, this is just the same analysis we always do, right? So these targets are logical and we have seen them hit even the ones that don't kind of feel like they're in reality or in possibility. The secret that I haven't shared or have shared, but not enough, is these extensions, what I typically do if I want to see how realistic they are is, for example, Popo, I'll go look at the market cap and then I'll say, what's a 6,500% move up? If that market cap is in the realm of, of, I don't know, all the other coins, if it doesn't make it the number one coin, I view it as more reasonable because sometimes you'll get ones that aren't. It's like you'll pull a fib and it'll say, you know, a billion percent move and that market cap makes it bigger than, I don't know, the GDP of the world. Not really reasonable. But the smaller the market cap, God, I'm going to regret this. It's DGen day. The smaller the market cap, the more potential upside percent is possible. So I don't know what this one is, but this is likely where we'd be aiming. Now, you do have that serious, serious resistance here. It's kept the chart down. I don't think it's going to go down easy, but if it does, things can look really good for Popo, for the Po. 
let's zoom in to like a week really quick and just take a peek. I like that weekly setup. I don't see a ton of liquidity here. These wicks are a signal that liquidity is maybe not where we'd feel comfortable. So I would not use leverage on this. Never use leverage on illiquid uh, liquid assets. But we do have a nice little setup even this week. On the week, last week we did make a reach back to that all-time high, failed to actually get there, and rejected back underneath this resistance. You can, as you zoom in, you can really see these monthly levels in play. Almost every wick on the week has tested it. That's good because it is weakening that resistance. You set a higher low, you tested it again, you painted a higher high, you could be seeing the start of an uptrend now. To build confidence right here, this weekly, after moving high off of a higher low, came down, filled the weekly gap, and is now being bought up, knock on wood, two days and seven hours to go. Closing, honestly, just above 275 is a great take, and that does make me kind of look up again and say, maybe this resistance will get broken. Trading below this week's wick, very bad. Bullish trend, not really there. I want to see the day, and then we're going to move on. Higher highs, higher high on close. Beautiful. You do have an open gap at 308. That's about as low as I'd like to see this go. I don't want to see this trade any lower. So here we are. In the spirit of the degeneracy. I'm going to place this. At the daily. $3. Which is, remember, three, how many zeros? Nine zeros or something. Right here. Stop. As the thesis said, below this week's low. Don't want to see a trade below there. And where do we target? Now you can get a 7 to 1 just targeting the 611, the macro resistance. That's not a bad target. That's also almost 100% upside. Not so bad. You could, of course, take this trade differently. And then we're going to move on after this one. Take this trade differently using that same thing. You're going to have to give it a little deeper of a stop loss and then target, what, the all-time high for your nice 700, 800%? That'd be a pretty slick trade. If that actually fills and you're actually here and it actually hits the all-time high, I personally would take like 75% profit, take that, put it in the bank, and then I would let like 25% ride to see if you can catch this crazy move. There it is. Popo, not Robud. Popo. There it is. Done. Well done. You're lost. You're loving it. Mm, GPU node. What is that? What's the ticker dealy? I'll look at it for you. What's up, HK Delhi Downside? What coin? What coin? That was Popo. You can see at the top of the stream, it does have the ticker. On the uh, vertical stream, it's right here. And on the main stream, it's up here. By the way, if you're watching the vertical stream, not on a phone, feel free to join us on the main one. Just go to the channel page and you'll see the main stream. We have two up on YouTube. But if you're enjoying that mobile stream, baby, go for it. Spell token. All right. Cat with F. Cat coin. We'll get a cat coin. I said we would. I said we would do that. Let's look at the Kid Cat coins. Let me see. 200 likes. Viewership picking up. Oh, right, all right. Vertical stream. Only 13 likes on the mobile stream. Can we get a few more over there, please? I want to shout out some new subscribers. We got Vindo, Vino DeHandy, Ceylon Reddy, Jobin Palakran, Kubram Fisha Planta, Praven, Wacky Gamers, Madman, Ayish, Tony Ibarra, Benjamin Sumadia, Siolus Version 2, Muhammad Rakabar Rahman. What's up? What's up, Muhammad? How you doing? How you doing to all the Muhammads out there? DI, we have a lot of new subscribers. Hell yeah. Keep it up. I don't even need to shill it. Don't even need to say anything. Cat coin. We're going to look at cat. And then for Christopher, we'll look at tips. Christopher tipped. Tips is in sleeper mode. They have a dope setup with Kulo. We'll look at it. Where do I think it's headed? Here. Uh, we actually have a tips chart. But I want to look at Catcoin first, simply because I said I would. It's Catcoin. What is this Catcoin? I'm a dog guy, all right? I, if you like cats, that's fine. You're allowed to like cats. You're allowed to like cats. Yikes. Tips is going to be a good one. Good, good tip for the tips, Mr. Christopher. What was the... Who's the cat coin ticker? <laughs> what are you doing this Friday? What are you doing this weekend, boy? Boys, boys, what are you doing? Anything cool? I wish there was a better way to do giveaways on YouTube. Because I want to give, I would love to like give away a little prize for whoever has the best 
Whoever got the best weekend plans. Looks like Mech C has it listed just as cat. Is that it? Let me get the cat coins up next. What other micro crap coins do you want to see? Let me know. All right, crap coin. Wait, cat cyber arena? What? Cyber arena, that does not sound like cat coin. We got cat F. Wait, what? Why is it cyber arena? Let me see. Is this it? Cat to pillar. Caterpillar on pith. I guess people are trading stocks on pith. I don't know. Uh, Bybit. Okay, that's the same coin. Started trading the fifth. I'm going to go with Bybit's chart looks a bit better. When uh, Here's another piece of alpha. When looking at random low caps, especially, there's typically a few choices, uh, typically a few choices as to what to chart. It's a hard decision which one to take. The best practice, in my opinion, find the one with the longest history. That's always the winner. Trading view will sometimes have what they call their crypto chart. Instead of saying uh, Femex or Coinbase or Kraken, it'll say crypto. That one usually has the most data. If they all have the same amount of data, like this one does, go with the one that has the most solid bodied candles, the smallest wicks. Both of them had big wicks, but Bybit's here, a little bit more solid candle body. That is going to show you more liquidity. And honestly, without liquidity, charts are irrelevant. If I pre-mine, if I create a coin, I control them all. I'm the only one who can sell it. There's no liquidity except for me. I can just paint whatever I want. Something to keep in mind. We'll look at the cat, the meow. Who in here has cat coin? Have you bought cat coin? I actually did buy a DGen coin. I'll share with you guys after we do tips. I know, unlike me. I'll tell you why. I'll tell my reasoning too. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Bottom trend, not really there. Not really there in the month. For the cat coin, let's see. All time high on the cat coin, zero, zero, six cents. All time low, zero, zero, zero. One extra zero. See, that's what I was saying. That's why I like multiplying. That's why I like taking cat coin, multiplying it by a thousand. And now instead of dealing in fractions of pennies, we're dealing in a dollar, right? Dollar fifty four. Much easier to understand. The exact same math doesn't change the chart. But without the confusion, without the confusion of the zeros. So there we go. All time high, 630. All time low, just above 50 cents. Monthly resistance right there, $1.88. We have a filled fair value gap on the monthly just above a dollar. Filled is good. That is a bullish sign to see a gap like that filled and then close higher. That's bullish. But it also gives us the flip side of it's bullish if price is above it. If price trades below that wick, if it fills the wick, Things look bad again. They do look bad. Uh, so that would be about a dollar. That could be a good spot, though, if it does happen. Last month's open, 121. Hmm. Not a lot here. Not a lot here. We do have the potential previous resistance to be flipped as support. Sitting at 160. Price is currently at 154. So really all you'd want to see is this monthly settle up above 160. Then that would hold. Let's go down. We're going to go down, down in the time frames. We got tips up next, and I'm going to share with you something that I put, I don't know, like 500 bucks in. Did a little DGEM play, very unlike me. Uh, and I'm going to share the reason why I did it. Not a recommendation or endorsement that you should, but a little learning lesson. Week, same thing. You have that gap filled. Again, kind of reinforcing this level. You don't want to see a trade below. I like this on the weekly. If the dip is not over for cats, if there's more cat dip, $1.36, and that is where I'm going to place this potential long position. My headphones keep turning off. Might as well take them off. Uh, they keep powering down. I guess because I'm not playing music. I don't know. Potential long position. I'm right there. I'd prefer to have my stop lower, but you start to get these real big numbers. You still get a three and a half to one. I'll take this. There you go. Back to weekly up here at 321. Ideally, I'd like to see this week trade down to the entry and then close above 160. That's going to be the signal. What we're looking for here is this kind of clean, still lower high, so it's not quite an uptrend, but it's kind of clean play. 
We had the monthly filled, the weekly filled, and now we're looking here for a local fill before moving higher. I think that's a solid thesis. Thesis. Uh, let's do moon math, baby. Let's go. Connecting our all-time high to our all-time low, we can pull out of our ass some magical moon targets. $30. That's a 30x from here almost. Not bad. 1618. As high as 80. Remember, this is multiplied by 1,000. So not actually 30, not actually $30, more like 0.3 of a cent. I don't know, something like that. But none of that's in play until you break your all-time high at 630. Let's go the other way. We're going to do our doomium, doom math as well. Connecting our lowest point price to the next highest point. We can actually extend it out in the other direction too. So if CatCoin loses that 50 cent mark, it may have some bigger downside ahead of it. It may trade all the way to 10 cents. This would be if I was a value collector on this coin, where I'd be looking. Don't necessarily see signs of it doing that, but just to keep it on your radar, the same way we do the moon targets, we do the doom targets. Let's get this daily time frame up and then we'll go to the next one. Give me a sec. Wow, those lines aren't on any other time frame. Awesome. Trading view. You plague my existence sometimes. What's up? This is the Hellius Penny Smith. What's up, Penny Smith? It's a cool last name. There we go. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. Don't love it. Let's see. Money flow is a little janky. It is positive. RSI remaining lower. Not, not really the bullishness we saw back here. Hmm. Actually, even it's kind of opposite in structure. You can see this fall and then a descending parallel channel on cat in his first few days before rocketing up. Now, kind of the opposite here. You had a descending channel. It flattened out, bottomed out. Now you kind of have a rising channel building. Not ideal, to be honest. Um, not ideal. Especially combined with his low RSI. I'm going to leave it there. I threw a trade up. We got the cat coin on, uh, on lock. I'll put an alert at the entry. Can I get a meow in chat for CatCoin? We're going to look at tips next. Then what are we looking at? Tips. Very spicy right now. Tips hella spicy right now. Why, 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 why? Okay. There's going to be a trade here. We'll figure it out. We're going to look at tips next. What is after tips? Ola, what's up? What's up, Mike Vollmer, Greg Zilla, mf -er. Oh, yeah, I knew Greg Zilla would be here. mf -er and Normie, which one? You said mf -er first. Let's see. mf -er. We're going to look at tips next. We're going to do tips. Then we're going to talk about the random meme coin I bought. And then uh, we'll do mf -er, I guess. Bybit, Polynex. Go Bybit. How much history do we got, Greg? Why does Hobai have a little bit more? Hmm. I don't know about that, Polynex. No, only on Polynex. We're going to go with Bybit. Can do, Alex? Can do. Can do, can do. There's no crypto one, son of a bee. We're going to go with Bybit. There we are. This is traded for a total of six days, not even. So we're really not going to have a lot to work with. But fortunately, those six days do include a monthly rollover. So we are going to get a value. We're going to have a high time frame value. In fact, we can actually get a few. Wait, no, we're not doing this one first. We're doing tips first. We'll get back to that one for Greg. It hit $200 in 24 hours. Uh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. Can I do Wombat? Maybe. Toby on base. Toby. C-O-Q-E-N-U. Where should you start to learn to trade as a hobby? Aaron Smith? It's good to hear someone say they want to trade as a hobby. I always get afraid when people jump in and say, how do I start day trading full time? Well, you don't just start day trading full time out of nowhere, but that's unfortunately what people kind of think happens. What really happens is you just lose your money. But uh, as a hobby, I have somewhere. I have somewhere for you. 
on this channel, we have the greatest number one free crypto trading course on YouTube. If I can get this button out, it's free. I could gatekeep it. I could sell it for thousands. In fact, people sell courses for thousands that are even nowhere near the quality or the inside of these videos. I just have them for free because I want you guys to have the value. Yeah. If this was another channel, all of the charts we looked at would probably be like sponsored and probably pay me to look at them and say they're great and, and then they dump them. That's the value of this channel. We're not here to dump on you, baby. A lot of new subscribers. I like it. What's up, Mohin, Alfredo, Herman, Alex C. Coins Chick, I didn't see that. Congrats on 100K. Congrats on being awesome, Coins Chick. Love you, darling. Evely, Isma, what's up? Larry, VSG gas token for new L2 blockchain. Vitalex smart chain. Is it called Vitalex smart chain? VSG. We'll pull it up then. Or I'll try. We got tips. Are you a scam? Just asking, says the outdoor freak. As a human, am I a scam? I hope not. I don't know. No? I don't know why you're supposed to answer that. Pretty quiet over there on the vertical stream. I only see Aaron Smith, Sean Inferno, and then the outdoor freak asking if I am a scam. On the main stream, Alex C, Alexander G, good to see you, darling. Ala, crypto, Alex O, Alex O, crypto. Anas Gamal, A X T K, Christian Rose T, Christopher Stars, Coca Cola, we're about to do tips for him. Coins Chick, of course. Crypto Ocho, Crypto Sharknado, I'm sure he's spammed 800 tickers he wants me to look at. Typical. <laughs> David Brum, Doomed Channel, oh, that's it's ominous. Forest Knight Battles, Fuza, George Coleman, Greg. Savchuk, Gregzilla, Heaven Peck, in my, I'm my hero. Jack and the Crack, Josh Breen. Kai is here, the beautiful Kai. Got a lot of pretty ladies here today. All right, I like it. It's Friday. What's up, Mike Volmer, M Ninja Fourth, Paul, Paulo Boyle, Ryan Cooper, Sin, the Pickle. Shut her down. What's up, bro? Wiley Coyote, Din. We got a lot of new names. I like it. I like it. No, your course? My course is free. How could it be a scam? <laughs> there's, there's nothing. You don't have to pay for it. I mean, that wouldn't be a very good scam. I don't know. Check them out yourself. It's on, the, it's on the playlist. It's on the page. Check it out. I trade GPU. What's GPU? There are a lot of scam courses in trading. Yes, there are. But typically, they have to like take your money though, right? It's like, to take your money. And then give you crap. Minus free. There's, there's no risk. All right. I, give them, I'm giving you 60% off. You know what? Yeah, you're right. I'm giving you 60% off the free course just because I want to prove to you it's not a scam. <laughs> okay. Okay. No one said you were good. Oh, boo, dude. Boo, Bugara Spwell. Great comment. Tom Crown scams you into learning when you're here for DGEN trades. I admit that. I admit that. You're right. Let me look at tips for Mr. Stars. My bad. So I like this setup potentially. I like this setup potentially. Tips has returned to its all-time low of March. Not a lot of history. Not a lot of confidence for us. Returned to today, just under two cents. There could be a nice little play here. Now, it's done, doesn't really look great, but I think a long could be calculated here. I saw something. I think it was on the week of the week yeah here we go 5.5 cents above so this is how i might take this trade looking to play that back to the previous weekly support 5.5 cents currently at two you can kind of reverse engineer your stop however tight you want it entries at two cents so obviously somewhere below two targeting 5.5 doesn't look like a bad trade at all actually looks like a pretty good trade this is ugly, but the trade thesis is good. Trade thesis is solid. I don't know anything about tips. What I do know is that right now we have kind of a, let's say a pivot or two paths. Path one, tips bounces from this double bottom-ish type thing. Makes sense. The last few days you've been in a parallel descending channel. We see them break to the upside. 
we have our lowest point of support. Could be looking for a retracement. So let's throw the fib on here and we'll see if that lines up. Lines up beautifully. Beautifully. Uh, right to our target. This is the 0.5 retracement, meaning it is the midpoint between our, our high and our low. And we almost always see price return to the midpoint, even if continuation is, is ahead. This is a pretty high confidence trade for me. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Our invalidation, our other direction. Trading lower than your wick. Trading lower than the lowest point when it started trading day two. Out of the long. There's your invalidation. You have your take profit, your invalidation, and your entry. Those are the three pieces of a trade. You got them. Am I going to take this trade? No, I'm not. Not going to do it. But you could. I don't want you to copy my trades, by the way. Just a friendly reminder, this is DGEN Day, and so nothing I say is financial advice. It never is, but especially today. <sighs> especially, especially today. Not endorsements. Let me see. This is kind of ugly. If you put this on the hour, you can see like a head and shoulder start to paint. If the low is broken, there might be a reverse play here. So we drew this up last time on tips. If it broke its all-time high, we were looking for this area up here just under a dollar if it broke its low. We were looking down here in about a half a cent to a quarter cent territory. If this gets stopped out, you may look, especially if it rebounds a little bit. This is, this is solid. If something like this happens, you may look then to short at this exact price on a lower high and a break of two cents. You may look to a short there and where do you target? You can target all the way down here. Shorts have not been very profitable, I'll say, over the last year. Not the preferred direction for me. Is this a short position? No. Yeah. Why is that risk to reward so weird? It's like a 70% drop. Risk 32. Risk 32. That's only a one-to-one? -one? What the? This is where logarithmic is uh, making the chart look weird. Something like that. Only two-to-one. Weird. You could play this either way. If it invalidates your long trade, meaning trading to a new low, you may look for the reverse. Until that happens, I think we're looking for a retracement to 5.5 .5 cents on the upside. That's a pretty clean play either way. That's pretty nice. I like that. After this stream is over, not yet, not for a while, I'm going to be putting all of these trades into the exclusive trading section in Discord. All you have to do, sign up with one of the partners in the video description below to get access for free. It's all free. We're going to look at mf -er. What else should we look at then? How do you get this course? It's a playlist on the channel. You just open the playlist. It's on, it's on my YouTube channel. I don't, I'm confused. You're confusing me, Outdoor Freak. I appreciate you, though. Where can you access it? On the, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's Friday. What's happening? Uh, nice little, here's a little shill of it. Even though it's free, I don't know. I don't need to shill it. This is the most recently published video. This was published like a week ago. This is on market structure. There you go. Here's a little sample. Put it on high speed. Beautiful animations, beautiful, succinct, clean explanations. It is the number one. Free trading course on YouTube. Cost you nothing. How do you get it? Sorry, regular fam that know this. Just go to the channel page. That's it. Just go to the channel page. It's right here. You scroll down. It's going to be down here. Number one free trading course. That's it. That's it. If you're confused, then you just go to playlists. There you go. Be right there. Free trading stuff. That's it. No paywall. Nothing. Check it out after the live. Not right now. We're live. What's up, Jocelyn? How you doing? Sadiq Asif Khan, you're a genius. It's me, Pranav. What's up, Pranav? Alpha Weebs, Mustafa, Victor Ben, Mohin, Alfredo. I think I got that one. Hopefully that cleared up the confusion. No problem. D. Greg, D. Jerga, one, two, three says, just watched it. Very simple and informative. Thank you. Great. That's a great endorsement. It is great. Appreciate you. Ah, it's a Chinese Baker. All right, what are we doing? Blockchain strikers in all caps. Turt, the new turtle. 
Gem on Solana community, all all one sentence. Takeover dev sold his bag for eight Solana. Community takeover market cap was 2.5 million. Now discount under 1 million. Interesting. Wombat. You said Wombat a few times. I was going to look at MFR. -er. It's kind of hard. There's so many. Is it Wombat? Let's see. Wombat. It's on Qcoin. What's the ticker? Wombat. Just Qcoin? We'll look at Wombat after mf -er. What other... I don't know if these are degenerate enough. I'm so out of touch with degeneracy, I don't even know what's the most degenerate. Let's slap a fib on our mf -er because it's all we got. I don't love that these fibs don't really line up with the monthly. That's okay. mf -er currently trading at 7 0.25 cents, the all-time low, 6.2. From the monthly, if MF -er begins to rally, 10 cents on the dot, this is going to be a logical resistance and profit-taking target if it is able to bounce here. So let's turn this red as it's going to be resistance. Above that on your monthly close, you have 17.7. And your all-time high, just under 30 cents. Let's zoom in. Zooming in. The week and the month look exactly the same. That's what I get for charting stuff with like two days of history. On the day, nice little order block here. That's going to suggest an expanded area or maybe a zone of resistance. The zone is small though. 10 to 10.5 cents right up here. This retracement without doing any other analysis kind of seems given. Kind of seems given. It's not a huge move anyway. It's only like a 30, 37% move on something that has very little data. Today's DGen day, guys. By the way, for people joining, please, uh, this is, we're just looking at gambling. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. Please don't just copy what I put. This is just for learning. Uh, okay. Really low time frame. We're going to move on after this from mf -er. Lower highs, flat bottom, led to a sell-off. Good, I guess. I see some kind of reversal starting to form here on the hour. The structure has changed. You got the dump. Let's see if uh, it brought you to any extension here. Nah, it doesn't really line up. It doesn't really line up. We're really grasping at straws for this bad boy. Nine cents. I don't like a trade on this, to be honest. I don't love a trade on this. Nine cents is this local previous support. It has not been tested as resistance. I'm going to cut this prediction a little smaller. I'm going to say this. I'm going to go with that. Ooh, beautiful. So my hunch was right. Hunch was right. On the five minute chart now zoomed in, we're just on the hour. Absolutely sensing that reversal. That's a very low time frame reversal. This is not a moon signal. This is likely just pointing to that target, about nine cents. You can see left shoulder, head, right shoulder painting out. So all that is needed now is a retest of the neckline, which is a little weird. Neckline's a little strange here. You might even just cut it this way. You can see a little fractal mini inverse head and shoulders here into a bigger one. So I think this trade could be made. Again, I'm not taking it. Targeting the right shoulder. So the thesis of this trade is you have an inverse head and shoulders playing out. Potentially, if that pattern is invalidated, you want out of that trade. So if the right shoulder is broken, we're not in an inverse head and shoulders and our trade thesis is invalidated. That gives us a stop below 6.6 .6 cents with a take profit target about 9 cents for a almost 4 to 1, 3.69 to 1. I think that's a pretty slick trade. You could then look to flip short, but I think that's a bad choice. You could play something even bigger. So say that this inverse head and shoulders is real and it's playing out. There actually may be three trades we could take. I know, don't get too excited. Something like this. This is all betting on the inverse head and shoulders. 
it'll look like this potentially move from support break of the neckline back test of the neckline from resistance to support and move to a higher position boom three trades in a row i'm not taking any of them but there you are if this breaks if our inverse head and shoulders is invalidated all of this is off the table we got the early warning we're done this would look pretty good there you go for you greg zilla for you can i check out dgen usdt now that makes sense that makes sense we're gonna look at wombat but we can make dgen that's the perfect chart to look at today i have certainly actually i don't think i've ever charted it so let's see we're gonna look at wombat next then what dgen oh, i do have it nice 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 we'll take a look at that wombat gold gold is the ultimate dgen so what's up phx i see you brother you're new to trading no problem outdoor freak i didn't mean to get, be too hard on you you're all good i love that i mean that's the best thing i love all of our fam we've been live here five years i love all the loyal fans day in and day out here on the streams love them but nothing warms my heart nothing makes me happier than when new people find our content especially if they can find it before all the the bad content as i'm sure you're aware youtube is youtube not even just youtube just social media is full of awful awful trading advice from people pretending to be traders the one thing i can guarantee you is i'm not pretending to be a trader you guys have seen me trade live here for years I don't win every trade, but what I like to do and my passion is to help people, help people succeed. That's it. Let's see. Take it here. Take it there. I like this. I like this. Good end of the week. Uh, real quick, Wombat. Wombat trading at 003. Potential SR flip just occurred at 0025. This comes from July's lower high before new low. This wick, I'm kind of just going to discount it. Uh, if we zoom in and it's like over the course of a few days, we'll keep it. But something tells me this was one second, probably just local to one exchange. So I'm going to try not to use it. We'll see. In December, you broke that lower high. You set a higher high. I technically did with this wick, but you set a higher high. You closed higher. In fact, that was your second highest monthly close ever on Wombat, up at 6.0066 cents. Then you've sold off over the last three months, potentially now just looking at the monthly, looking for a short-term reversal. So we're going to have to zoom in. Here we go. Here we go. And not that pretty, honestly. Actually, kind of ugly. Weird. I didn't expect this on the week. It's a little ugly. Not the end of the world. We do have this order block you painted on the way up, which should have been support, not holding. Lower low, lower high, lower low. If it doesn't bounce and move back to 06, 0.066 cents here, it's likely going a good bit lower. Bad news is that would suggest 0.015-ish. It's a pretty big fall. It's about 50% from here. So any position that is taken likely, likely should have a very carefully chosen stop loss. Let's see what this might look like. this i'm gonna choose that at zero zero two just below it i just like i just like it we've seen a lot of these zero zero twos go on just below zero zero two damn seven seven to one these are big rrs man big risk to rewards playing back to zero six six i think is the move unfortunately you have this order block that you tested as support bulls were not able to bring it to a higher price bears brought it back down below so now you have resistance at 003 this makes this trade a little wonkier not my favorite we've seen better ones if this low holds though and that's what this trade is hypothetical trade is predicated on you have major resistance broken back tested and now you're going to be looking for higher trading below that low i think your stop could be a lot tighter actually uh will be your invalidation Lose that low and out of that position. Let's see. Moon targets, and then we'll move on. 
The Holy Moly Moon Target. 32 cents. Wow, that is 100x, maybe. I don't know. What's the market cap on this? 100x. Our two measured move at $1.23 for Wombat. Now let's do the Doomium as well. Just add a little perspective. 1618-0004. And 0002.13. Neither this upside moon target nor this downside doom target are in play until the all-time high is broken. Then you're going to look for that big expansive move or your all-time low is broken. Then you're going to look for the bottom to fall out. Boom, done. Drop the mic. Wombat. What's up, Joey? I see you, brother. Let me catch up on this. Joey Hickson. Thank you for the 20 dollaries, dollar dues, US dollars. Turt. The turt. We'll look at turt, then we'll look at degen. Turt. Man, I don't hate the name. It's kind of fun to say, turt. Appreciate you, my friend. Appreciate you. Appreciate the super chats and the support. Hurt. Gonna have trouble. Gonna have trouble, my friend. Not on trading view. Womp, womp, womp. Not on the view. Probably not gonna be able to chart it. Dirt. Let's see what Queen Gecko has. Not a great sign. Opening it up, I see three turts on Soul. Three. So, oh, four. Then one on Polygon, one on. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I know what that symbol is for. Rap Ether. Anyway, uh, you have a lot of turts. So anyone seeing this and thinking, ah, this is the best thing ever. You got to be careful. Buying the wrong one will be not the asset, right? So we see one with $82,000 of liquidity, one with 18, one with three. Gonna just kind of guess here and say, these two are not what we're looking at. Let's look at this one, I guess. Tart. Tart skirt. Jert. I just like the name now. It's been trading for two days. Not a lot we're going to be able to do with it. But there's some things. Let's look at the initial trading price. Can I not set this to logarithmic? Logarithmic. Nice. Going to have to go down here, set this to logarithmic. There we are. That's correct. Okay. We are zoomed into the hours. So the confidence of any of this analysis is going to be really low. It's going to be real low. That's okay. So you got like a quadruple top up here at zero, zero, 002. And this is in Seoul, not in dollars. In Seoul. I can see a good entry. That's about a 50% drop though. The bottom of this open hourly... It's a 70% drop against Seoul. 0, 0, 0, 00027. For those of you with less patience, maybe 0, 0, 0, 0004. Stop doing that. Stop doing that awful charting platform. Oh my God. Okay. Man, this is like as much as we're going to be able to do with this. Has lost a lot today, it seems. Down 80% against Seoul from its high. This does not look that good. Not oh, look that nice. I'm giving it my best shot because you, you super chatted 20. I'm giving it my best shot. Guess. Also because the name ain't bad. Turt. Um, I don't see anything I specifically love, to be honest. Like right here, you've fallen 80% today. So like an upside retracement bounce, not crazy. But I see support here at 001 against Seoul. You lost that support. Now you're right back up against it. This is probably the play. Probably looking maybe at best you like a hit of this trend line at 011 then down into the zone. If you believe in this, whatever it is, that's probably where I'd look for it. Probably look for it there. But again, no history. We have not even, I think, a full day. We have like 
24 hours of trading. We really can't do proper analysis on this. It's just not possible. And a reminder for all of these things, there is something that we can never chart, something that won't ever show up on the chart that is a big risk when degenning. And that's rug pool, contract change, uh, supply change, et cetera, scams. The charts aren't going to show us. And unfortunately, the scams or the rugs, the future rugs, not the turd is or isn't, but the future rugs have almost full control over the price of their asset because they have the whole supply. So those charts tend to look the best because they're painted to look the best. So be careful out there. Doesn't mean you can't degen, but when you do, I highly encourage you to use less than 1% of your portfolio on any given position. Never set yourself up to be wiped out in one potential move. 1% is the magic mathematical number. Good luck for turt. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, Joey. You and your turtles, man. Your little turts. We're going to do degen, but what else should we look at? What's up, Jason? You subscribe. Tanchi Fiesta. Vema Ravili. Reka. A name that I can't. I don't know how to read in English. I'll just replay it. This guy. I see you, brother. I see you. Might not be able to say your name, but I see you. Appreciate you. Irish Shamed. Jandy. Ardi. Razib. Ricardo. Jocelyn. Sadiq. Okay, back to the ones we got. Keep them coming, boys. Keep them coming. It's Friday. We're degenning. We need your help. Snack. Yeah, we can look at Snack. We looked at Snack uh, a few, I think last week. I swear we did. SNE. What's SNE? No, that's 2020. I swear to God we looked at Snake. Snack. I swear. Why is my chart not here? Where did my chart go? It's a typical Friday. Is this it? Look at Snack. Let me see. Schnick a schnag. What's up, Nova Line? Hello, my friend. What I heard about Yearn Finance. Been a while. Been a while since I've heard Yearn. Since I've yearned for Yearn. Buy Kawa. Crow with knife, says Chemo Merlin. Crow with knife foreshadowing what's up trading lover good psychology thank you my friend what's up freddy knight blur on polygon we can look at blur nyan dodia soul he wants to look at soul i don't know is soul still degen no soul's down to 173 maybe we'll take a look at it good eye PSG. is set and forget a scam is trading lab a scam i don't know it is safe to assume in trading in crypto that everything is a scam. Doesn't mean it is, but it is much safer to assume that and then let it prove it's not a scam for everything. I assume everything's a scam. It's kept me safe. All right, we're looking at SNEC. SNEC did hit a new all-time high at the end of last year. It did not go on to move to its measured move targets, which is interesting. Instead, it's, it looks like consolidating. These wicks would look like distribution, but typically monthly movements to the right under all-time high is accumulation. You have an open monthly at 001. That's also a nice psychological number for SNEC USD. What is that? A uh, tenth of a penny. Probably a good entry. I'm going to throw that on there. Depending on the stop, can just target back to 0015. That's a 50% move, not bad. I guess the, I would take the stop under the previous wick low. That kind of, yeah, three to one still. That's probably how I would take it. Let's zoom in on Snick. Hmm. Might not get it. It is open though. So is this. I might re uh I might redo that. I think moving it down here is actually better. There's a chance that it'll bounce already or that it's already bounced. We're getting a little too many horizontals here, but on the weekly, after hitting an all time high, you retraced 
set a low, didn't break any highs. Bears pushed you back down to the lows. Bulls took control. You broke that market structure. You started setting higher highs off of a higher low. Now you're coming back down. This was major resistance, 0012. On this move down, if the week can close above that, maybe you flipped resistance into support. Doesn't really line up with your fibs at all. Kind of, I don't know, I guess that counts. I guess that counts. It's relative, it, it's about where the 618, the golden Fibonacci retracement level, where we look for all moves to retrace to is right there. That's some good confluence. I might, I might bite on that. Okay. I'm going to need to go down more to the day. Got your 618, you got weekly. I like that. <sighs> I like that. I feel more comfortable again at that 001 or 0009. But I think there's a scout play to be made here on the SNEC. Take it from here. Man, that daily's calling it though. Yeah, you need three. Kind of like that. Let's take our fib tool from our swing high to our swing low. Ooh, this is tricky. I can see something like this playing out. That's ugly. Let's see that. I think there's a scalp here, just to 0014, 0015. I think the better position is down here. I don't have much else to say about it, actually. That's about it for the snake. I do appreciate it having history. Market Cypher B is giving it a green dot on the day. VWAP's at zero line. Momentum's rolling up. Uh, Market Cypher B actually pretty bully. Pretty bully on this. I might go back to my original target then. Here we go. Leaving it here. Leaving it there. Refreshing the chat. Can I check sushi? What pair is this? That was uh, Snack USD, Sir Richard. You invested in Desnot stocks. Is that a good choice? I don't know what that is, man. Da boop. I don't know what that is. Chilling from prison or chilling from prison? We'll have to ask SBF. I did not check can do. Not yet. Let me see if I have a chart. I kind of doubt it. No chart. Let's see. If I check out one of your DGen micro cap charts today, I would appreciate even all I ask for in return is that you subscribe and leave a like. That's it. Low bar. Low bar. Is this Ken? Can do. Can do. This is going to be a quick one. Let's see monthly monthly resistance right above you monthly open whatever amount of zeros two whatever amount of zeros 2042 currently at whatever amount of zeros 1415 that's uh, about a 30 percent 40 percent move back to there you got nothing below you nothing below you on the month on the week you do and i can see a play here there you go about a 40% drop against F. You do have the possibility of closing this week higher, and there's your retracement. You move back up. But I'd feel more comfortable at the bottom of that weekly order block. You got support there. Either way, you'll be hitting a higher low. Wow, today is ugly. Yeah, today is it's a little ugly there. I'll take this. Can do. Kindle. Okay. Somewhere from uh, 10 flat. Should have done this in dollars instead of Ethereum, but whatever. No good bounce target. These wicks, dude. Wild. Getting wrecked. I like that. 
Park it a little higher. Take this a little longer. There you go. There you go. There you go. Can do whatever. Can do with. Nice little, so like megaphone pattern, broadening wedge, whatever you want to call it. That's it. That's it. There's really not a lot else we can do here. We can say if it breaks, it's all time high. We don't know if the low's in yet, but if it breaks, it's all time high. Here's the profit taking targets I would aim for. That's almost eliminating one zero. That's eliminating one zero. If you're measured move at two, there you go. So it could be like this. 15 to one. Done. Can do. Did do, can do. What coin is it? It's can do F. I don't know. We're just looking at DGen micro cap stuff today. Whatever you guys are uh, basically asking for, I've been pulling up. What's up, Rami? I see you. Freddy Knight 100. Cheers, brother. I see you too. LP at Bangalore subscribed. What's up, Dimelix? Something. Five pounds. Five of the British pounds. Wants to look at Hosky on Cardano. Hosky. I see you, bro. Hosky, sure. Why not? When in Rome. Halski. Halski. It's on Mexi. Cool. Don't love uh, what I just saw. Like pulling this up and seeing on the hour this kind of. Like, what do you call it? Just wicks, like gap space between candles. This is low liquidity, so be careful. Do not touch this with leverage. I believe it's only traded on Mex C. That's what it seems. Maybe some DEXs or something. If you are going to trade on Mex C, you should uh, use my link. Help support the stream. TomCrown.io slash Mex C. There's also many other partners in the video description. Okay, we got more history than I expected. Not the most exciting chart, I'm not going to lie. Lower monthly closes over and over and over again. This is not a good uh, looking chart, to be honest, dude. I don't like this. I'm not even sure like where to start with it. Okay, we'll take a yearly. The yearly open. I guess like last year's open. It's just so low liquidity that there's like just shitty levels. Just chatty levels. Kinda. Kinda, I don't know. It's surprising to see something traded this long with just such inconsistent, inconsistent candles. Go to the week. Not the best look. Weekly's coming up. He's going to trade lower before it trades higher, though. This wick, very nice. The end of the year last year, this wick down to the previous. This was that year's open. Very flushing of heavy positions. Surprising he was unable to really make use of it, though. Didn't see it put in a new high. Maybe we can do this. Again, not enough liquidity here to even think about using leverage. This would be spot only. I'm going to take the conservative approach and do it this way. Uh, down at your 618 retracement, your golden Fibonacci retracement. That would be however many zeros, seven. How many zeros? Set one seven on the dot. Could see along there. That's going to give you enough room to have your stop below the wick low of last year. The level you do not want to be at. You get a nice three to one just playing it this way. I think we're going to take a two to one on this though. Something like that. Playing off this prevailing trends kind of weakness. Looking for this bounce play. If it does return and this does play out, you may see it move higher after that. 
but I've not seen anything I super love, so that's how I'm just going to place it. There's Hoski. Hoske. Hasuke. Since I'm a Bitcoin believer, what are my thoughts about these DGEN plays style Anos? You guys know the answer to that. Is that a genuine question? You know the answer to that. People do whatever they want with their money. I have spent five years trying to convince them that the way that I've done it, my anecdotal experience and the experience of those around me, leads me to Bitcoin being the most successful approach to cryptocurrency. People don't care. Let me see. Bowden. So I said I bought a meme coin. I bought like a 400, 300 bucks of whatever this is. And the only reason I bought it, I said I would share that. The reason I bought it is because Femex listed it and I could not, well, one, Femex, great partner of ours, sign up with them. But uh, I could not find anything other than like spot on it. And I like spot only trading. That will not last. You guys know I closed my cast belongs as soon as Binance opened uh, contracts on it. it. Hasn't really performed since then. So as long as this is staying spot, I probably will try to keep some of this open. Is this coin going to go to zero? Probably. Like almost certainly. I have no long-term confidence in this. Femex listed it. I didn't see spot or I didn't see contract. So gave it a little uh, dip to toe in. Just like a few hundred dollars. If it goes to zero, my portfolio is not impacted. Ooh, not great. Not great. Measured move sitting at about a dollar here. Guess it's not that bad because that's where I put my take <laughs> I put my take profit at a dollar. I didn't really do much analysis on it. Just simple, I'll put it at a dollar. Dollar. Just below a dollar, maybe ninety nine cents. Right, let me see. Is that on this account? I'll show it to you. see there it is man puts his money where his mouth is mouth is where his money is exactly exactly as i described i bought i don't know 400 dollars. i already have the limit sell order at 99 cents done done and done uh i'm selling what is it half the position Half the position, something like that. Getting my principal back out. This is the only way I ever encourage people to trade kind of these gambly degen things. Pick an entry. Pick a take profit. Set the take profits. Limit sell orders. Set them right away. Leave them there. Calculate it out. Get your profit or your principal back out. You can see I bought it right here at 50 cents. So what did I do that day? I set the take profit at 99 cents or a dollar for half the position. So if it hits, I get my principal back out. I have however many of these coins, whatever you want to call them, uh, left if something crazy happens. I don't miss that upside. I don't feel FOMO or regret. That's the only way I've ever encouraged anyone, if I can even say encouraged, the only way I've ever suggested anyone approach meme coins or any of this kind of gambling-ish, low-cap stuff. Think it out. Make your plan. Set your orders, get your principal out, and then who cares? Be prepared to lose it, though. So measure your position. Control your position. You're going to control your risk through the position size. Keep them small. This trade's going pretty good, though. 55, boom. Let's see. The only thing that will change this trading plan for me for Bowdoin is if someone lists perps, someone lists like lists perpetual contracts on it. I may just look to take profit. And it's 81 cents. I bought it at 50. May look to just take my principal out then if that happens. Yeah, dollar. Dollar looks good. Break that dollar mark. 
That's beautiful. 161A was at 55. You broke it, back tested it. Was your resistance moved higher? It's hard to bet down for me in this scenario. It's hard to, for me to bet down to that's the sitch. Trading below, of course, 55 cents here. You, you're looking not great anymore. Not really an exciting chart. But there you are. I shared my reasoning. I shared my entry, my take profit. I showed you the order. That's it. That's it. Ooh, I forgot about this TA. This was TA from Wednesday, I think, right? From Chirpow Wednesday. Let's do something cool. Wednesday, we were live at like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. for Chirpow. This is what we were looking at at the time. I said the retracement back to the 618 likely. 68.6. 618. I said, this looks like a bottoming or a local reversal. So here are the two projections I see Bitcoin moving. Almost regardless, I see it moving back to the 618. It did. When it gets there, that's when we kind of get the determining, I want to say longer, but when I say longer, it's like short mid term trend. We either continue past the 618 back to the full retracement. That would be the bullish scenario that I was hoping for. I want to see 71.3 tested as many times as we can on Bitcoin. Each time we're weakening this resistance and we are painting out the bigger flat topped picture, right? So let's say we did do that. Almost regardless, I was looking for a return back to this ascending trend. We only had two touches. Very likely we see three. So from there, if we did the full retracement, hopefully finding support there, moving higher and on this test, moving back to a, a new high, potentially then looking to back test it before moving higher. However, if it rejected from that 618 level, we were looking for a retest of our range of lows, breaking this trend line and then back testing it. So it's really all these roads kind of leading to 66K. A rejection on that back test, that's how you get the lower numbers. That's how we go down and start getting spooky targets, right? Even in that scenario, 59,000, just our wick low of March could be, the, could be the bottom. Once you lose that, you're all the way down to like 50 and things get a little uglier. But let's see. Let's see how this played out unaltered from Friday. Live analyzed. Here we go. That's very slow, but oh well, is what it is. way slower than I wanted it to be. This is like cringely slow, like embarrassingly slow. Dollar King on Dollar Soul partners with it, Joe underscore exotic. If I stop it now, it'll just take longer. So I'll just let it play through. Why is the viewership so low, Taxo? I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't think it's low. I think it's high. The reality is though, all the hype has chilled. We had this giant meme, like meme coin explosion of hype, Bitcoin explosion of hype as it moved into the 70K range. And then come, what was it? There we go. Done. Uh, come like early-ish mid-March, this price action, this has just killed it. Like I said, I did say this earlier in the stream, March was the biggest, most views we've ever gotten in a month, it was the most new viewers, the most new subscribers. It was actually like, it wasn't necessarily like just March. It was like kind of this time period right here. Most views in this time period, most subscribers, most new viewers. This here has simmered down that, that hype. We don't see as many new people here. We don't see the same numbers. We don't see the same views. We're still holding strong on subs and stuff and we're still getting good numbers, but this is it. When this range resolves, whether it's to a new all-time high, which is what I believe will happen, or if we break down for a further deeper retracement, that's when we'll see that come back. A lot of the time people think it's like when the price goes up, lots of people tune in, or when the price goes down, lots of people tune in, but it's actually more complicated than that. It's volatility. When volatility is up, whether price is going up or down, that's when we see viewership. Right now, this is incredibly low volatility. 
we had our range high, we had our range low, and we can see this price action really tightening volatility. Our highs are coming down, lows are coming down, mostly just trading sideways. We got one volatile move up, and then again, mostly just sideways, one volatile move down. And for the most part, this is still just sideways. Like this can continue for a very long time and volatility keeps contracting. Now, no, new people aren't checking, I don't know, the Bitcoin VIX, the 24-hour BVOL and saying, ooh, it's up, I'll watch. No, volatility is emotionally instigating. Volatility brings greed, it brings fear, it brings motivating factors for new people and for returning people to tune in. There's a little alpha for you. Uh, so the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin uh, projection I was looking at, unfortunately not where I want it. You can see price did return. It did move to our target. It has on low time frames rejected, set a lower high, and now it's selling off again. Not the best. That is looking more like this, isn't it? For now. It's looking more like that for now. But let's see. Kind of crappy on the hour. Four hour market cipher B looking all right here for the four, but I'm still not really seeing the follow through I'd like. 12. Ooh, 12 hour ooh, tested. The last 12 hours open and ooh, rejected. Not great. Not great. On the flip side, that's wild though. That's weird. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, bro, radical. Um, that's kind of weird. So what I just saw is on the day, this is what I was looking at, today's daily low hit yesterday's open, closing that gap. This actually could be kind of bullish here. We now only have wicks, that's good. In the next five hours, if we see Bitcoin run up, 68.5 or above, that's gonna paint a really bullish hammer. It's going to look great up to that 71.3 target again. What I said whoa to is, okay, so the daily filled or closed yesterday's open gap. Now go to the 12 hour. The reverse has happened. Really rarely does that happen. Wow. Uh, meaning it ran up, rejected, moved back down from the 12 hour open. So we have a daily kind of more bullish signal and then a 12 hour bearish signal. But really what we're seeing is that volatility just contract, just continue to contract. Our lows have continued to move up. Our highs are coming down a little bit. This may be actually much closer to breaking out than I thought. I think I can find a trade here. Right here, 66.5. 66.5, 66. I like this. I'm going to place it. Slap. Slap. I like it. 3.25 to 1. I like it. I like it. We'll see what happens. If we have a strong close today, it's actually going to look really good. All right, I'm going to move on. Would I consider shorting Bitcoin Cash? Isn't Bitcoin Cash just happening in like a few days? I probably would not do it until it was closer. Let me see. Nice miner, BCH having. Let's see. So this isn't Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin Cash. This is Bcash. Looking for it's having, it's actually coming sooner. Or did it just happen? It might have just happened because I don't see it here now. I guess it just happened. April 3rd. Happened two days ago. Oh, F me. All right. Well, the having already happened, so that might change my analysis. Let's look at, uh, let's look at these pairs. Nice. Long still open. Higher high today. You might get another shot at 600 entry. You might. That, that candle is pretty gnarly. Money flow beautiful on BCH though, like gorgeous on the day, absolutely gorgeous on the day. RSI gorgeous, MACD gorgeous. I don't know, man. I probably wouldn't. Obviously, we have this long here. I probably wouldn't short it. Doesn't mean it's impossible. If I was looking to short it though, probably would 
TP at like 500. This is an untested weekly and monthly previous resistance to flip to support. You might even have an argument for 400 if it really gets kind of ugly. But I don't know, man. This actually looks good. It actually looks good. It is post having, so we do see weird mechanics happen at times. We do see kind of charts get shit on by the having. I wouldn't. I would not. Uh, I mean, if you get 800, maybe I would be comfortable with that. I'd be like comfortable at the top of this, uh, this long. 800 back to 500, maybe. That'd be pretty clean. You can see that. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think so, though. I wouldn't. But there's lots of things I would and wouldn't do that you guys would. It's not a problem. It happened. It did. It did. Bitcoin's having, though. April 19th, miners, slow it down. Slow it down a little bit there, doggy. Slow it down. 420. It's going to be on 420. If it doesn't happen on 420, I'm going to close my eyes until the next halving. What's up, Epic Bonus? Five dollar. What's up, Bad Baptist? How you doing, bro? It's Tashi Nakamoto with the ten. Smash the likes yet? He says. He says. You should. Good advice. Satoshi also said, "Thanks, Tom. Always on point." How you doing, Satoshi? Good to see you, my friend. Good to have you here. Uh, Meta Hero Coin, actually taking in real life objects and transferring into the into the metaverse. It doesn't make any sense, Canad. Canad. I'm not saying this is your idea or something, and like, I'm not saying you're dumb, but that just sounds like a bunch of kind of hype gibberish. You can't, that, that's a big problem. You can't really put physical things on a blockchain. It's just more steps. You don't need that. You can't, un until we have the science to literally turn atoms into energy. And then the, the, the technology to harness that and process it. And like, it's, it's just like extra steps. It's not, it doesn't do anything. I hear a lot of claims like that. And it's like, at the end of the day, you have a centralized party that's holding on to the objects. So you don't need the blockchain. At least gold is rocking. Gold has been rocking. I haven't gotten another alert. Actually, maybe I have. Gold, I did. Damn, 2300 calling gold getting smoked. Where are we at now, boys? Ooh, let's, uh, let's actually follow up with, this is certainly the most degenerate play. DJT. <sighs> Dude, couldn't even get the bounce. Wow, couldn't even get the bounce. You're probably going to see this now. DJT started its IPO day of trading at 70.8, 70 dollars 80 cents now down 42 percent over the course now down 42 percent over the course of how long 10 days down 42 percent yikes i hate to say it but i did tell you so guys <laughs> i don't know why people buy ipos ipos are literally just like l liquidity it's it's just so people can get out of their pre-IPO positions. That's it. Didn't even get the bounce. Damn, DJT. Yikes. I think we could see this at 39, maybe lower. Ultimate rug if it's under 32. Such a gnarly rug if it's under 32. Anyway, more gloriously, gold. Let's see. Gold blasted our $2,300 target. Ooh. Ooh, do you see what I see? Gold's going even higher. Holy hell. Gold's going to 24, 26. I think gold's going to 26, 25. I know, I know. We're in crypto and degen stuff, and this is like hardly degen. It's up 10% in a decade. But gold has been showing a lot of strength. I think gold is going to make a move this year that defies kind of the diminishing return or average return of gold. I don't think it's going to fit into that model i like what we're seeing gold moved up to its 
confluence backed Fibonacci extension 1618s. That was at 2300. Moved above, back tested it, and now has moved higher. Gold's not done. Got a nice order block here painted for support. If we see selling or profit taking next week, that'll be 2300 on the dot, basically. Right there. Man, gold. I have no idea what happens when gold rips. I have not been looking at charts since gold ripped. I was like back in. Oh, wait, yeah, I was. Not back here. I'm getting disoriented. This chart, it's been staring at it for so long and it looks so the same. It's disorienting. God, gold's going to the moon. Gold's going to the moon. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me to see gold double in this decade. Silver is stuck seemingly forever under $30, but that's my target. I'm looking for 30 bucks on silver. Probably this year. For a whopping 10% move. Whopping 10%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Not a lot. Silver never effing moves. Let me see. We got a few alerts. So let's check into them. We've got a Tia alert. That's not good. Tia was not looking, not looking great. Oof. Tia's on his freaking, his, like deathbed. Not actually. That's that's not my style. Not actually, but kind of. Tia has to bounce here at twelve dollars. If it doesn't bounce here at twelve dollars, it's really not looking good. I could see this trade. But man, break lower and what do you do? It's like you're immediately under 10. You go sub 10, you're at seven. Uh, man, this is ugly. Like this is not looking good. Though I will admit, sometimes the worst looking things are right at their bottoms, right? But kind of clearly defined left shoulder, head, right shoulder, back test of neckline here for 15. Moved lower than your low. Like this thing looks like it wants to move down more. I don't like that. Portia, Celestia. And break lower and you're like a nine. Jeez. Jeez, Tia. Jeez, Tina. I'm going to put another alert. This trade, I think, actually has pretty good probability, especially at a 6.3, 6 6.4 to 1. Like, even this, even that would look good. Even that would make sense. Let's see. Time will tell. I have a few more alerts here I want to go through. Ondo. Ooh, Ondo hit a dollar and then back to 75 cents. I think that was one of our entries. That's getting me fired up. Can you check out Birdogo and Solano? Fired up. Boy the boys Let's Club see. <laughs> Ondo. Not quite yet. We were a little lower. Okay, one of these longs got stopped out. I'm sure this is one I was like, I won't take. Okay, we haven't quite filled 70 cents flat. 75 is the top. I think this is a daily order block. What's up? Parthasarathi S and Voodoo Kick. What's up, bros? Yep, on the day, this is a nice little order blockish pattern. Down at 70, 75 cents, maybe the top of this range. Looking for a move back on Ondo to 90. What it does there is going to be very important. Rejecting there, you get that kind of same Tia setup. That you don't want. It did hit our dollar target though. You can get something like that. Maybe even lower, right? You can. Not even saying these things will happen. Something to just keep on the radar. You don't want to lose this order block. We even placed a long here looking for a bounce. I think that plays good. We'll just see if it fills. Add in the alert. What's up, Jason Paulins? What's up, brother? What's up? Histro Dana Dana Ilov, ten pounds. Can we check out Bird Dog? Alone in the world of the little bird dog. Bird dog. I don't. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to find the chart, but we can give it our darndest try. Alone in the world, of the little bird dog. It's an easy name to remember. Bird dog. Bird dog. That's weird. 
It's a weird chart. It's weird. That's weird. This looks very, very centralized. Curious. Yep, of course. Of course, that's the lowest candle. That don't get you nowhere. Don't get you nowhere. Uh, not a ton of history and not a ton of useful history. Oh, there we go. We weren't on logarithmic. Much better. I was wondering. I was like, this looks very odd. This looks much more. Okay, this fits a lot better into what we'd expect. Boom. Okay, kind of pretty, actually. Man, if that isn't the exact reason we use logarithmic on every chart, I don't know what it is. Okay. You broke your all-time high against Ethereum. What did you do? You moved to your 1618. The exact same analysis we do every time something breaks its all-time high. Connecting your previous high to your lowest point, you look for the 1618. It found resistance there, which is not ideal. You really do want to see a close above, then backtest and move to that too. Not ideal. Two measured move is that is actually a 4x against Ethereum wild. 4x. Previous all time high, all the way down here for like a massive infinite percent drop. What? It's not giving me a percent for some reason. I don't know. Whatever amount of zeros down here, previous all time high would be, in my opinion, the only place to look. The only place to look for a long. Sure, you could try to maybe do something up here scalp wise, but I have a feeling you're not going to have the liquidity to really have a stop to be able to get out of it. If you did, this is DGen Friday. So your stop loss is going to be the hardest part of this. Because if you take it from that low, you're kind of cooked on your upside. You get an upside down trade at 1.5 to 1. Sure, you might win that trade a lot. It's hard to be profitable. I guess I'll use this hourly wick. You can get close to a three. Yeah, I like that. One, six, one, eight. Golden Fibonacci. You can see this. See that. Nice little scalp. I wouldn't take it. If you love this coin, I don't know why or you know, whatever you love about it. This is where I'd be looking. This is where the value is. This could easily play out like that. Bird dog. I mean, I like the name. I like the name. Let's be real. It's catchy. There's bird dog. The first time on YouTube. Bird dog. Brought to you by Epic Bonus. No, it wasn't Epic Bonus. That was his Haristo. Epic Bonus wants to look at King on Soul. Okay. Okay. Guys, we've been doing all kinds of DGen charts. All I ask from you. It's because you hit that like and subscribe button. And then I'll ask one more thing. Join our Discord, discord.gg slash Tom Crown. Links in the video description. And if you want free, exclusive VIP access to all of our trading rooms, our private group rooms, it's free. All you have to do is sign up with any of our partners in the video description below on YouTube. That's it. Do it. Help support the channel. You guys get bonuses. You get discounts from using the link. It's win-win. It's win-win. Look forward to, uh, to all the new members. Jump in there. King on soul. Is it kingdom verse? Let me see. Epic bonus. Wrong king. It's not looking it's not looking good not looking. i mean drink view even had bird dog man doesn't he have king i don't see it on solana here i don't see like radium or whatever is it on trading view king is on soul no way no way. Thank you, Sharknado. Yes, it's not on trading view. Hold up. I'm 
Let's see. King on soul. No, not this again. King Yi on Tan. King on soul. King soul. King soul. King soul. Not a ton of history. Uh, you do have higher daily closes. That's decent. Let's see. Volume, 95,000. Liquidity, 71,000. Okay, it's not bad liquidity. Liquidity is almost equal to the volume, I guess. I see a nice little support that today's daily bounced off of. Set a local higher high. Uh, I'd be targeting 0000118 against Seoul, currently at 078. And I saw like 40% move to the upside. I can see that playing. I like that this has SR flipped a clear resistance here on the day. Wick fell short. You broke through. You closed a higher high. You have a little double top on the day. Don't be afraid of double tops there. A little bitch reversal. Rarely anything, in my experience, <laughs> ends a run in a double top. You tested that previous resistance as support. It held. You set a higher high. This chart looks good in the short term. Looks good in the short term. I don't know if it'll be able to break the resistance above it, but there you go. Last thing we'll do is we'll uh, flap it. We'll flap. We'll slap a fib on it. Let's see. I don't know. We'll take this fib actually. Log. Make sure this is on log. It is. Uh, upside target after that. I mean, you're really looking obviously at your double top. That's another 50 ish percent up. That's at 0000018. Now 175. Your all-time high is roughly right there, so it's maybe a zone there versus a flat number. Break your all-time high. You're looking to move, let's see, like this extension, 0, 0, 0, 0, 006, which from here is like, what, 3x, something like that. There you go, King on Soul. I don't know anything about it. This guy, uh, Mr. Epic Bonus, wanted to look at it. There it is. Oh, I know who Joe Exotic is. You meant Bird Dog on Solana. The F is a scam team. I, all right, we got it. I don't know, man. I don't know. No, it looks like it's ripe for a trade. How am I supposed to know? Got to be clear. Got to be clear. Appreciate your super chats, though. Where did that go? Let's see. Hmm. I don't like the thing. I don't like it when like you have two tickers on different chains. It just reeks of like sus to me. It's, this isn't just bird dog. It's all the ones we've looked at on Solana. Just. Yeah, you say that. Damn. And then this is again the same one I just looked at. I can only find this on Ethereum, it seems. That's probably part of why I don't like it. There you go. Bird dog on, uh, on soul again. There's three of them again. Be careful. Be careful with which one. If you look into this. We'll do a little bit of TA here for the soul. Liquidity higher than the 24 hour volume. That's good. Cap is very low. Very degen. Uh, da -der. On the day, <clears throat> nice little order block painted. You haven't broken a higher high though. That would've been better if you did. This is gonna paint something weird. Got a lot of verticals already. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with this. I can't make this bigger, can I? Ooh, I can. Nice. Okay, we, we might use this more. So uh, I can't use the tools from here, but that's okay. On the day, you have a nice order block. That order block was painted right at previous 
order block resistance. You can see multiple wicks price moving to that level, getting rejected, setting lower lows. You finally set a higher low, move to a higher high. You began an uptrend. Unfortunately, you didn't break this high. You didn't break your initial high, which is a little weird, but this isn't the worst looking thing. Right here, at your daily order block, you now have, res you now have support. There's, there's support here, right there. You have flipped that resistance to support after setting a higher high. That's a good look. You could take a position from there. That would be logical. Stop might be a little hard, but you could take a position from there. It already touched there today. I can't go down. Whoa. There it is. You already touched there today on what? The last few hourly candles. Bird dog. I hate this platform. I'm clicking day and it's it's 15 minutes. Son of a... No, dude. Daily, not 15 minute. All right. Now it's at a day even though I clicked three minutes. Sure. Uh, there's enough there to make a trade. There's enough there to have a trade thesis. My only problem is one, this is unfilled. The bottom of the order block is unfilled. You don't really want to see a trade there. That's not 0027. If it does, that's your last bet for a long. Like if that long doesn't hold... Is kind of cooked. May not trade there. But on the other side, if a long was taken from your top of your order block, which you tested today, you have more resistance sitting above you here. These are odd candles. Um, you can see some kind of order blockish pattern. Likely to find resistance at 0045 on the dot, currently at 0039. Doesn't give you a huge room for profit. Um, I can see a play just based on this though. Looking for either the top, bottom of this order block off of the resistance. Now support. There you go. Bird dog on soul. On soul. All right. All right, boys. No more super chats for now. No more. Let's check back in on the corn quick. Not a lot is happening. Don't hate this, but not a lot is happening. We've hit our target from Wednesday. We haven't broken through. Da, 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 on the day. Not a lot of change. Not a lot of change. It's just a sleepy Friday. Sleepy, sleepy Friday. Really quick, double check. Have you subscribed to our channel? Have you hit the like button? Have you enabled notifications? Have you joined the Discord? Discord.gg slash Tom Crown. You should. It's free. All of our stuff's free. Have you made a plan for this weekend? Do you have something to do? Do something this weekend. Go have fun. Enjoy your life. Don't, don't sit inside all day. And on top of that, do you have a plan for when you're going to watch the number one free trading course on YouTube right here on the channel? No paywall. There ain't, any, there ain't any even paid content you can pay for. It's all free. We don't gatekeep. We don't, we don't pay well. I want you guys to be better traders. That is the goal of this channel. My goal is to help as many people as I can not get wrecked so that they can stay in crypto because I want friends in crypto. If you haven't noticed, nobody else in your life gives a shit about crypto. They think you're crazy. Well, we don't. That's why our community's here. You should join us. It's a good place to be. A great way to do that is to learn about trading. It doesn't mean you even have to trade but to learn about it, to understand how markets move will help you be less emotional. You'll panic sell less, you'll FOMO less, and you'll profit more. And that's the goal of this channel. At the end of the day, that's it. If I can help even just a few of you do that while keeping a roof over my head, I'm happy. So kudos to everyone who's found this channel today, yesterday, and last week. Consider making it a, make a commitment. Join us. Be part of us. We've been live here on YouTube five years. We'll be live for another five. Easy. Easy. So I hope you join us. It's Friday. Go enjoy your weekend. Jump in the Discord. Uh, maybe we'll have some kind of voice chatty, patronish night thing tonight. We'll see. 
I'll be in there chatting. I'm going to be putting all the trades from today into the VIP exclusive trading section in the Discord, which is free. All you have to do is use a link in the video description below. And you know what? 